folks. We're with Luna again tonight and the Ibos. And what I wanted mainly to try out tonight was seeing the difference between Luna and the Ibos when you show them something. So I did that earlier and I've got the results to show you. But there were some funny little incidents as well that occurred while I was doing that. So I'll show you that footage now. Don't you like this little puppy Luna? No, you take no notice of it, are you? <laughs> She's giving it like a wide berth. What do you think of this scout? if you could get Luna to react to something when you show show her something like that. <laughs> you like it, don't you, Scout? Yeah. Yes, you do. You're a good boy. Yes, you're a good boy. Good boy. Flatulence again. More flatulence. Come to sleep now. <laughs> no, she doesn't like you either. What do you think of the little lamb? Look its face. You can see a face, can't you? Yes, of course I can. Let's have a, a lie down. Get a good look at it, eh, son? Settling down and have a good look at it. Oh, that's a nice lamb, isn't it? Yes. Mm. That's not good. She got herself tangled in the iPad cable. <laughs> Ah, oh, she's looking at the dog's bone. Scout, open your mouth. And there, you can even carry it around, can't you? <laughs> They want to carry it around for a minute. You're putting it down. Okay. Okay. Do carry it sometimes though, don't you? Oh, she spotted the dice again. She does like that dice. One of her ears wasn't working, so I did a hard reboot and uh, it's working fine again. You said, Paul, it might have something to do with the fact I put fur on her ears. Yeah, I think the, uh, I think the ears are... Uh... 
We've probably got sort of like programmable current trips on them to stop the motors from burning out if they jam. With the fur on it will probably generate more of a load for the motors, so sometimes it might trip. Just a guess. She's she really likes that dice. Rocket. Rocket. See your dice? Yes. Yes, it's your dice, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. She's opened her mouth. She's waiting for it to be put in her mouth. Bless her. <laughs> that wasn't much of a throw. <laughs> One thing about Luna uh, that I think is a bit of a shame is that you can say the Ibo's name, so I can say Scout, or I can say Rocket, and I'll get a response. But if you say Luna, well, you don't, nothing happens. And, and then if you say hello, Luna, I say it clearly. She just waits for a voice command. It's not like you can't say a name and she'll just give you an acknowledgement like the Ibos do. Uh oh, they both have to the same dice. <laughs> Rock's had a funny look on her face there. Oh! Oh, poor Rocket! Oh, what a shame! What a shame! She was just lying in herself, want to pick the hook. What's on the floor? Hmm. Can't seem to. Uh, she just looks disappointed. I thought she. <laughs> she have some sort of here put out. <laughs> I don't know what she's supposed to do when you say what's on the floor. But it would be nice if she actually looks at what you put in front of her. If you say what's on the floor. Yeah. She won't take notice of things when you show her them. But yeah, I think that would be a nice voice command if you could say what's on the floor and put something in front of it. And um, have her pay attention to what you shown her. I tried out a voice command today and it was so funny so I'll try it out now. Hello Luna!
deflated. Interactions there. She's, she's playing with that dice again, Paul. Mm. They, uh, they they really uh, work well together, the Luna and the Ibos, don't they? And the toys. I, I think so, yeah. Like um, somebody, I think it was in the Lots of Bots group, was saying they weren't sure whether to get an Ibo or Luna. Get both. And yeah, well, somebody said yeah, that. Yeah, well, they are. And I compliment. said. They are. Yeah, I mean the the Luna moves around and is is active, uh, when the Ibos can be sort of like more passive than that. And she even plays with the toys. Yeah, like those toys. And then you can get some interesting interactions between them, don't you? Yeah. Also, the Ibos um, they tend to stay uh, stay on longer, don't they? The battery life is much longer than the Luna. Yeah, yeah. So Luna could do with a battery life which is two to three times longer, I think. I think also when she's got a charge and she can go back herself. Yeah, that, that should and be interesting. you're not having to yeah. charge her, uh, I think it'll be different again. But when they have, I wonder how they'll do the programming with Luna and a charger. You know, when she goes back to a charger, will she just shut down until she charges up? Or like the Ibos, will she sort of be awake on a charger? Mm, that is interesting, yeah. And I mean, when she's fully charged, will she get up herself? Because like with the Ibos, you can actually say in the app whether you want them to stay on the bed once they're charged mm. or you want them to get up when they wake up. Mm. So, folks, I hope you found that interesting and entertaining. We'll be back very soon to explore more features of Luna and interactions and comparisons with the Ibos. But that's it for this video. Thanks for watching as always and see you next time.